my god look at the amount of fish we just caught in that <gasps> whoa look at this look at that what is going on guys welcome back to another video today marks the day that we bring back the fish trap videos you guys have been asking for it and i understand that's how a lot of you guys found the channel is the fish trap videos so we're bringing them back and uh, here we're at the tiny canal that we filmed all those videos at and we're gonna try and catch something really cool for maybe the koi pond or the pond where Bruiser is. Cause there's so much cool stuff in here cause you know, it's South Florida and everyone releases their aquarium fish into the canals and there's so many exotics. And so you really never know what you're gonna get. So I thought, let's do a fish trap video here. And what better way to bring back the fish trap videos than to use a good old bottle. Good old bottle fish trap. We got some turkey in there as the bait. Everything eats turkey and it has a real pungent smell so. They're going to smell that real quick. All right, guys. So we're going to make the fish trap here. We have the water bottle. We have a saw right here. This is all you need, guys. It's so simple. Um, you just take a water bottle, right? It can be any bottle. And we're going to saw it right there. Um, make sure if you don't want to, like, risk losing a limb, have someone else do it for you. Someone who's, like, cool with losing a limb. Uh, so yeah, check this out. You have the water ball, right? You do that, and now you do that, and voila, you have a little fish trap. The fish go in, and then they get stuck, because here's the deal. Here's how this works, right? The fish go in because it's a funnel, and once the fish are in, they the fish like to swim against the walls. And since the hole is in the middle and not up against the wall, they have a very hard time of getting out. Sure, if they're like really smart, they could, but most of the time these fish are stupid and they just chill out in there, so. All right, so you get two hooks, put one here, boom, and one on the other side. And that's literally it. Now you have a fish trap. Check that out, we got turkey in there. We're gonna find a spot in the canal, check it out. Run! <laughs> should we do it here or should we do it where we always used to do it? I see, it? uh, <gasps> You wanna, you wanna go down to the, yeah. so here's the deal. We always used to make these fish trap videos in this canal. And uh, on the other side there, there's a little spillway where the water falls down. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. I think we go do it over there because that's where we always find the cool stuff. So let's go, let's head down there and see if we can catch something really cool with the fish trap. Whoa, what is that? Is that a snakehead? Look, it's a snakehead, dude. First time I've ever seen a snakehead in here. It has been a while. Wow, look how beautiful it looks. All the vegetation and plant life. I see so many fish. The one bad news I do have is I think someone stole our crawfish traps because I don't see them. All right, where do you think we should put it? Do you think we should put it here where the tunnel is? Here or like back here? I think back here. Looks Meow. Good. Look at that. We got the water flowing through. Oh, that's There's probably a lot of crawfish in here. Let's do it over here where it slows down. Fish. What are those? Look. See them? Minnows? I don't know what they are. They don't look like minnows. All right. What do you think? Right there? Oh, you saw that? I, I think that's like a jeweled look, oh, look at peacock. That. I don't know what they... What is that? Oh my god. Okay, we got some crazy fish here. I'm gonna set it right here in the opening. This nice patch right here. Here we go. That. Oh, it's so perfect. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Oh, they're already looking look, at it. Look at all the mosquito fish going in. All right, guys, look at that. That is like the perfect trap placement. Oh my gosh. Me and Brandy are going to go hit up a snakehead spot. Probably be gone for, I don't know, 45 minutes. The sun is going down, so we got to hurry up. Mosquito fish going for it already. That's a good sign. So, oh my god, dude. That's, see them in there. Yo, they're going to eat all the turkey before something cool goes in. Those are all mosquito fish. All right, guys, we'll see you back here in 45 minutes and we'll check on the trap. Hopefully we got something really cool and exotic. If not, well, you'll never see this video. Guys, we are back at the canal. Brandon, grab the bucket in case we catch anything. So steep, I don't remember it being so steep. Where was it? It was like, oh, there it is. I can literally see it, it didn't move. See it? Oh my God, holy crap, Ooh, okay. 
dude, we got so many minnows. Oh my God, look at the amount of fish we just caught in that. Look at this. I don't see it. <gasps> Whoa, look at this. Look at that. Oh my God, look. What are those? Are those shiners? Are you seeing I, I this? Think so. They look like little like channel cats. They kind of do. Yeah. Oh, look, they got whiskers. Wait, get a close up on that. They got whiskers. Can you see that? Kind of. Oh, yeah. yeah. They got whisk. They kind of got a blue line on them, too. Here, let's let's fill wait, this Wait, there's up. a spotted one, too. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Wait. All right, here, hold this. I need to get some water in. Here, let's spot a guppy, I think. Oh, the uh, Dalmatian molly. Dalmatian molly. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of mollies in here. Let's see. Uh, oh, I don't want to crush you guys. Come on. There we go. Look at all the fish we got. Let's get the turkey out of there. <laughs> Yo, they like the turkey. There you go, guys. That is so cool. Look at all that. So many minnows. Yeah, we can feed those minnows to Bruiser. Here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the truck and we're going to get a closer look at what we caught. Here we go. Man, all you gotta do is walk like this. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a leg <laughs> oh, oh my god. Okay, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Look how cool. Oh my god, I'm getting minnows out. I'm sorry. Alright. <laughs> get a get a look at these. Look. Okay, those those big ones, I don't know what those are. They kind of do look like catfish. Look, 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 look. Zoom in, look at that. Chill, buddy, chill. What is that, dude? I've never seen, yo, chill out, please. There we go. Check out that fish. Look, you see that blue line he's got? Really pretty fish. You know what? I actually, wait a minute. Brandon, give me your phone. Yo, can you shut up, dude? My friend, my friend Casimal, I swear to God, I think it's called a, a shark or something. Catch them all. I swear I've seen that that fish before, but bigger. Yeah. Wait, is this it? Look, iridescent shark. Oh. Isn't that it? I mean, wait, zoom in. I that mean, looks like same it. Eyes, I mean, yeah. it's like obviously way bigger, but I don't know. That actually looks like one. I think it's an iridescent shark. And if so, that is like absolutely insane because I mean, I know they're really like rare and stuff, but that's like when they're bigger because when they're this big, I don't think anyone really knows that they're iridescent sharks. So the fact that we caught them in a fish trap and we can really get a close look, I think that's, that is sick, dude. We got four of them. I think we're gonna bring these guys back to my koi pond. Um, Cause if I put him in the pond with Bruiser, he's gonna eat them. But these guys I think are docile and they don't want to tag anything. So they would be good in the koi pond. I think we're gonna do that. That is insane, dude. We caught a freaking four iridescent sharks. I've never seen one in my life, like anywhere, in captivity or in the wild. I've never seen one before and we got four of them. I might be wrong though. I, I don't know for sure if they're iridescent sharks. If you guys know better or you know what they are, let me know. But I'm pretty sure they're iridescent sharks. We're gonna head back to my house and put them in a pond. And dude, these guys get big. Like the picture I just showed you, that thing's like 40, 50 pounds. Holy crap, yo, when they get that big, we can put them with Brandy and Randy. All right, here we go. Back to my house we go. All right, guys, so to my understanding, right, these are iridescent sharks, and I'm pretty sure they're like insanely rare. I mean, I've never even seen one in a, in a pet store or whatever, but this this is like, they're babies right now, and they can get up to like, like huge, like monster size. And I mean, this is a big pond. It's a very uh, natural, it's got like all the, you know, resources everything needs to get big i mean look at these look at these cichlids look see that cichlid right there that's the little baby that we hatched from the mom that was like this big and look how big he is now he's like three inches long these guys should grow really quick and they should do really well in here and who knows if they get really big we can put them in the big pond because like oh my god look how cool they are oh, so many mosquito fish too yo settle down there we go that dude that's insane to think that these guys get like four, three feet long. That is just nuts. Let's go ahead and release the first one. We got four of them, which is insane. I think they move in, in schools or whatever, because like to catch four is pretty insane, I think. 
it just goes to show that that canal is just insane. Dude, the amount of cool fish we've caught in there is just insane. Oh my God, he's going crazy. Chill, dude. Beautiful fish. I mean, when they get really big. That's a good video. Yeah, there we go. When they get really big, they, they look a lot different, but these this is just what they look like when they're babies. Number two, there you go. There we go, we got both at the last two. Yo, these guys are crazy. Look how freaking feisty they are. Chill out. Chill out, boys. Look how pretty those fish. Dude, they got really cool colors. Wow. I'm not too sure what these fish eat. That is so cool. I have no idea what these guys eat, but I'll look it up. I'll do some research. And uh, I think they'll do really well in here. So we got four of them. All right, guys, that'll do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below. That is, I don't think I understand how rare that is because I'm pretty sure those things are like insanely rare. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.